I'm Lori Kissinger. I'm the Executive Director of Borderless Arts Tennessee, and what we have here today is called Water Warriors. It's part of the Teapot Diplomat Program of Borderless Arts. It's our visual arts program, and that program does community engagement using the arts to also connect into the community and community projects. So last year in April, some of our members of this program went to Egypt, and one thing that really stood out to them was the water quality. And we were talking about how water quality around the world affects everyone else, even if you're not in that particular location. And they wanted to do a project using the arts to bring awareness to water conservation. And so that's what this program is. So what is happening is we have five teams. Each of the teams are led by a professional artist and each of the teams have individuals on it. Part of the individuals are part of our Teapot Diplomat program and part of them are MTSU students. And they have three hours this morning to create a piece of art with a recycled water conservation theme and they're using recycled plastics to do that. One, two, three. And during that three hour time period, we're also having a lot of other little fun competitions such as Best Cheer. Down in the water, up in the sky. Fish to swim, birds fly. This is their home, this is their space. Don't need our trash filling up their place. Don't need our trash talk, trash talk. Don't need our trash talk, trash talk. best trash toss, best flag, and then at one o'clock all of the teams are going to take their recycled items and their art and we're going to go down to the lake and they'll race those. And so then we'll have prizes off obviously for the one that wins the race but also for best conservation theme and most creative. And we also are really pleased with this project because each of the teams also has a conservation organization involved with them. So we are working with at least five different conservation organizations that are involved in Tennessee. So that's what we're out here today, and let's get it's called Water Wars. Yay, thank you. This is Monica Leister with Team Purple, and she's going to be telling you a little bit about what their plan is for creating their piece for Water Warriors. Hi, I'm Monica Leister, and I am the lead artist for Team Purple. What we're making today is a giant lily pad with a lotus blossom and a dragonfly. We're going to have all these really cool floating supports underneath. And this is just sort of to uh, just embody the, the whole thing on the idea of water conservation, whether it's the water or the plant life in the water. Uh, we have various MTSU students. We have a gentleman that's representing Walmart today, Matt, um, and they're all working super hard doing a fabulous job. So that's what we're, we're focused on today. And with us now we have Ren Mayu with the Coral Team and she's going to explain their plan of action for Water Warriors. So Coral Team, our message, we're focusing on the litter aspect of water conservation and how to prevent that issue. So being the Coral Team, we decided to embrace that and our base is going to be Coral Reef. And what we're doing is we're adding on to that animals, sea animals, and our message is don't litter. So we're gonna have some trash surrounding the sea animals, kind of giving a heavy message of this is what happens whenever we contaminate our waterways with trash. And we want, as you know, we're working with Tennessee Environmental Council, and they're all about conservation and recycling and, and saving, saving water life and conserving what we use. And so we want kind of a heavy message to focus on not littering so much. And so we're going to have our coral reef with our fish and trash surrounding it. And that's basically what coral reef is bringing to the party and kind of letting the creative side. It's kind of cool because we've got our science team working on the base and the physics and those aspects, how to make it float and attach that. And then our artistic friends are working on the animals and the painting. And so we've got the best of both worlds kind of coming together to work on this piece. So now we're here with Carl Carlos Cauldron with the Red Team and he has partnered with the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency. And he's going to explain what they are up to as far as water warriors. Hi. As Lori says, my name is Carlos Calderon. So uh, our team, Red Team, we get together with the three of diplomas that we have, Erica, Hope, and Tomais, and the students from NTSU, which are great, great, also great partners here working up with us together. We plan to put uh, a mock of our a Viking boat 
thinking that water conservation is part of since, since then. Uh, Vikings built this type of boats, simple, and uh, we, they use paper. In this case, we're using plastic bottles because we all want to make the awareness about plastic in the uh, oceans and the lakes. Uh, and uh, the plan is, it was a simple uh, boat. The students are working together there and uh, we are looking forward to win this competition. And now we are with Dee Kimbrell with the green team and she's going to talk about what they have planned. Well, we are going to do a teapot and we're in the, we've got our base done now. We've worked really hard this morning on our base and next we're going to do a teapot. Our partner is Green Village Recycling and they've been helping us. We're just, we're having a great time. <laughs> our teapot will have a spout that has tea coming out of it and plastics because our message is you are what you drink. So we want to keep the plastics out of our water. <laughs> the bottom of our raft is out of milk jugs and we've attached them all together with zip ties. Uh, that was quite an engineering feat. And then uh, we've got that done and actually got it done and then realized we had 10 too many. So we had to go back because we have a very specific list that we can use. So now we're in the process of making our, our teapot and that's going to be out of um, cardboard and then we'll attach that to the raft part. All right. So we are now here with Kathy Pillard with the blue team and she's gonna tell you a little bit about what they're up to. We're up to no good. <laughs> we are making a pontoon boat and it has been very, very hard, but I'm happy that I'm having fun today. And I've given two things to Carlos's team so I get extra points and he already confirmed that. <laughs> You're not going to put that in the show, oh, yeah. but you need to show it to him. <laughs> We're making our raft out of bottles and PVC pipe and tape. And we got a plastic bag that we are so proud of. It was a Christmas tree bag. We were only allowed to have one garbage bag and it's nine feet tall. <laughs> we are very proud of that. And we're learning how to make lots of shades of green. <laughs> so it's been very fun. Yvette is my um, helper and she's been wonderful and I'm, I couldn't have done it without her, quite honestly. It's taken, this has taken more energy than anything I've done for Borderless Arts. There is no limit to what I can All right, so each person in your team, each person in the throwing part of the team should have two pieces of trash. Pick up your two pieces of trash. What you're going to do is when I say go, the first person in line is going to throw their two pieces of trash, one piece at a time. Then they're going to go to the back of their group. Then the second person will throw each of theirs, and the third person will throw each of theirs. The person who, or the team that gets the most trash in the bag, wins. You can move and try to catch it. You can move and try to catch it. All right. Get ready and go. Oh. Uh, what? what? You can move. You can move and try to catch it, but you can't move forward to him. Go ahead, go. <laughs> throw your trash. Throw your trash. Go, go, throw. Woo! All right. Did you see how big those bellows are? Okay. Oh no, as soon as you've done your two, that's it. Okay? Oh, okay. All right. So. All right. Green team wins. Okay. All right. You may go back and. Right that way. 
I was quarreling. They don't have enough rope. You don't cheat in this house. That's right. That is right. <laughs> I would love to use that. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, she does. Thank you. Okay. In just a moment. No, they're not supposed to go yet. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. Are all of, no, don't pull yet. No, 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 no. Purple, bring it back. Red, bring it back. Red and purple, bring them back. They should all be at the shoreline. Okay, all of them bring them back to the shoreline. Yeah, all the way. I just have such a soft voice. Is everybody ready? Everybody ready? Yeah! Okay. Say on your mark. On your mark. Get set. Get set. Go. Go. <laughs> and it seems the green team is leading by a small margin. <laughs> Place your bets, place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them we're one minute in. We are one minute into the race, ladies and gentlemen, one minute. Nine minutes left. <laughs> We're going to call it at five minutes. We're going to call the race at five minutes, ladies and gentlemen. 
and gentlemen, five minutes. We have two minutes left. Looks like Green Team has the lead, but it's a close call for second. We will get it. Blue or purple? Oh God, Okay, okay. Slowly. Because we're not trying to break off flow. Yeah, like, what is this? Huh? We have one minute left. One minute left, ladies and gentlemen. One minute left. Pull hard. Your hands? Hands are bleeding. Sorry. Pull, Colin. Pull, buddy, pull. Come on, baby, pull. I think he has a favorite. It was a favorite. That's all right. <laughs> 30 seconds. 30 seconds.
What we will do is we'll call up award winners and when it's your turn, you'll stand here in front of the table with Aquaman and he will give you your awards and then we'll get a picture. Libby's back here and she will get your, your photo. Uh, okay. Okay. So our first award for the day is going to go for sportsmanship for the team that had the most adversity and yet hung in there. And that is the red team. So red team, come on up. Come on up, red team. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go right over here so they can get a picture of the team, okay? Right over here. There you go. Here you go, sweetie. You're welcome. Okay, they're gonna get a picture. So if everybody would look at Libby over here. You are good to go. Okay, then we had an award for Pirate's Booty. It was not a requirement for the teams to raise money, but if they did, it was going towards these lovely awards that we have today. And so the team that raised the most money raised $400, and that goes to the green team. Come on up. We're going to walk right over here again, okay? Okay. Green team, if you guys could come over here. Green team. Green team. Green team, come on over here in front of the table so we can get a picture of you. Libby's going to get you get a picture. Oh, yes. Yes. Can, oh. Somebody want to get a quick picture? Oh, I'll get him. I'll get it. I can get it too. With Aquaman. I got it. Awesome. That's okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. The next award goes for the most creative design. And that goes to the purple team. Starting to get ugly out there. <laughs> All right, the best conservation message goes to the coral team. Come on up. dying and they had all of the plastics representing the different corals. Yes. Yeah. Before we announce the race winner, 
I just want to say thank you to everyone for participating in this. This was our first time. Thank you for the conservation team, conservation organizations for being out here, the paddlers, the pizza, the subway sandwiches, the everything that everyone's done. This has just been wonderful, and we had wonderful weather, which is great as well. If any of you have a great need for a giant yellow duck, you may certainly take it because I don't have a need for one, and I. You take it? Okay, we've already had taker. The duck is gone. All right. So, our race winners is the green team. Come on up, guys. Okay, okay. Devon, she because I'm going to email you guys pictures anyway. Okay. Okay, thanks again, and we're going to call it a wrap. Thank you very much for coming out today. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, it's not fair.